This is TX2, and actually, I, I I wasn't going to react to this, but it was like, um, before the stream, I was like, oh, I gotta show Melanie this. Okay. Hey, did you see this tweet? No. Okay. So first of all, TX2 official, uh, is a band apparently. Okay. A year ago, we wrote a song and named it after a governor in Tennessee who was trying to pass laws banning drag shows, affecting gender affirming care. We called out several governors by name in the song to spread awareness. Hashtag punk, hashtag punk rock, hashtag drag queen. So let me just give you, an, you know, a, a couple of the replies in here. We got Dr. Sidney Watson coming in with, I didn't realize being punk was regurgitating all the talking points of the establishment. <laughs> Count Dankula coming in with, Punk is when all my opinions line up with the states. Uh, freaking Lamau. Um, and uh, here's a, a slatism saying, sounds like garbage. So well, just you can see it's not going over well. Right. And uh, let's see, we got a 24 second sample. I just want to let everyone know in the chat, I don't feel bad about playing this at all. <laughs> uh. Are, are we supposed to be seeing or hearing anything right now? I'm not sharing anything right now. I okay. need to put it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even going to notice like the whole time. Oh my God. I was like halfway through the song. It's only 24 <laughs> seconds. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> they could still be saved. It's not they over, can. but um, uh, they definitely would have a lot of work to do. <laughs> their own fans. Oh, their my. own fans said, uh, "One minute you're emo, then you're punk. Next you're goth. Just effing decide, please." I like the music, but really, so their own fans are roasting them. That's just straight up gay. I never even heard of this, <laughs> but if this is what punk rock emo metal if this is what the whole scene is trying to turn into count me out i will just stay with the older stuff i'm good <laughs> this yeah. is not it there is uh there so i used to be in a punk band when i was 16 17 18 and there is an element to punk rock of like anarchists communists they exist in that scene mm -hmm. um and that's not new but Nothing broke my heart more than like seeing bands that I used to love, like No Effects and stuff like Green Day turning out to be lame. Like No Effects had a concert, I think like two years ago, and they were quite. And by the way, No Effects is the, I don't know, my generation's like most people would tell you if you said name a punk band, they mm -hmm. would say No Effects, um, or many people would. They have like tw 25 full lengths. They have some legendary songs um, like The Decline and Clams Have Feelings Too and uh, so many other great songs. Um, but then they required, now this is a punk rock band, required the jab and masks <laughs> at their concerts. It's just insane. The jab and masks to attend their concert. I'm like, even everybody, like a lot of people who were fans of No Effects are like, what the, like, dude. That's that's not punk rock. Like, yeah, that's lame. Punk rock would be like having a show and like forbidding them mm -hmm. or like, you know, something like, you know, and it's just basically like, you know, Rage Against the Machine is now Rage for the Machine. Like the, all these bands grew up. I don't know what happened to <laughs> punk rock. I, I, I suspect punk rock is still out there and probably still doing well. I grew up with bands like. I don't know, 15 and Pennywise and like bands you used to hear on like Tony Hawk's. Uh, oh, yeah. Pro skater I soundtrack love the Tony like Hawk that. Pro Skater soundtrack. Yeah. Um, and those bands weren't even like necessarily punk rock. They were like kind of. They were punk rock, but like more pop punk. Right. But like everybody there's like <laughs> this. Cor <laughs> this is corporate approved slop feast to continue. This is about as punk as the offspring. <laughs> You know, like 
nuance bro coming in with the punk is about spewing the approved talking points of every fortune 500 mm-hmm. corporation in america exactly <laughs> this is butt rock i don't think it actually is <laughs> no butt rock. it's not <laughs> butt rock punk rock butt rock would never yeah that, butt rock's audience too were a bunch of dads and stuff they this would be the biggest mistake for butt rock to do by the that. way i'll be i'm gonna be seeing zach this week and we're gonna be planning out our butt rock renaissance in green Yay. bay wisconsin that's coming up don't forget make sure to mark your calendar melanie mack and maybe maybe the quartering mel maybe live from creed oh live, live show from creed. how exciting <laughs> well probably not i that, love be creed i i feel like I feel like I probably really liked them back in the day. <laughs> and then like people made you hate them, you know? like Yeah, you're going to see. You're going to be like, whoa, I can't believe anybody ever made me hate them. Yeah, I'll feel shame. <laughs> I'll definitely. It's like it's like Rick and Morty. Like mm-hmm. I used to I liked Rick and Morty. I mean, now I don't like it because they fired oh, <laughs> the yeah. creators. But like. I loved Rick and Morty and the fans ruined it. The Szechuan oh, sauce did. thing. Me, I was like, I'm out. I, I missed probably yeah. two good seasons because I was like, I can't, I can't with these people. I only watched I like one and a half seasons. I liked it, but again, the community just kind of killed it for me. And I just, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, when they became a meme, like one has to have a very high IQ to understand <laughs> yeah. Rick and Morty. And I was like, okay, like, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out on that. <laughs>